Assalamu alaikum ladies. I hope you and your family are doing well, inshallah. I hope you guys are staying safe. And today I'm officially sharing my first recipe video with you guys. Because you know what? Ramadan is coming up. And by the way, Ramadan Mubarak to you guys in advance. So yeah, Ramadan is coming up. I thought this would be something that would go really well with your table spread. So I made this yesterday and I thought, why not share it with you guys? So here I'm just making my dough, combining everything together. And this dough is pretty soft, nice and soft, I would say. Um, but that's what you're looking for. Once I have my dough uh, kneaded, I just let it rest and then move on to the filling. Speaking of which, you could literally fill this with anything you like. I use chicken, potato, and onion here. But if you didn't have chicken, you could definitely use any type of uh, red meat that you have on hand. Any leftover chicken that you have laying around, that would also be perfect in here. And that's what I like about this dish. It's really versatile and you can literally just use whatever you have on hand. And that is a very good thing, especially these days during the shelter in place um so i really am trying to find ways to just have um like use what i have in my fridge and pantry and i do appreciate these kind of recipes which are flexible i'm just cutting everything into small pieces so that way everything cooks through while baking in the oven So once I'm done with my chopping, I move on to preparing my spices. I'm using cumin, coriander, black pepper, and I like preparing my spices right before I'm about to use it. So that way everything is just fresh and it smells really fragrant. So that's my tip to you guys. Here I'm just adding it to my chicken mixture and I'm gonna have that mixed and well incorporated making sure that everything is coated with the spices and seasoning and i move on to my dough and for the dough i just divide it into two pieces i make sure that the bottom piece is a little bit bigger than the top piece and i just stretch it out you could roll it out with a rolling pin and then just kind of finish it off inside the tray with your hands and now I add my filling and then I take the other dough and just make sure that it's stretched out enough all the, almost all the way to the edges. And then I take the bottom dough and fold it onto the top one like you see me do it here. Just making sure that everything is sealed and nothing seeps through while it's baking and if some of the filling is kind of pouring out that's fine you can just push it in with your finger and continue the process um, until you get all the way around it's okay if it's not perfect as you can see mine isn't either i guarantee you it's still gonna taste really delicious so next i brush it with butter but you could use eggs instead i didn't have eggs so i used butter but the egg uh, will give you a beautiful sheen so if you have eggs i do recommend that you brush it with um, some egg and that is going to give you a beautiful sheen i used sesame seeds to sprinkle over the top but you could use black cumin seeds that would also be really good but i was um into the sesame seeds so i used sesame seeds if you wanted to and you were feeling adventurous you could even do half and half like so like half of the pie you could sprinkle with sesame seed and the other half you could do black uh, cumin seeds both are really good 
I score it to make sure that the air can escape while it's baking and I just bake it until it's golden brown and it'll be ready to enjoy. Bonus, I also made this really good hassle that goes really well with this um, pie and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. It's basically just some chili flakes, onion, garlic, honey, fish sauce, and a little bit of salt. It's really not a recipe. You just add more of the things you like and if there is a certain ingredient in here that you don't like, say you don't like garlic, just don't add garlic. But I do have to say, garlic makes everything taste good. Um, so I do recommend that you leave the garlic even if it's a little bit. But it's really not a recipe. Make it your own and just have fun with it. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys find it useful and let me know what you think. Tag me if you do make this recipe. I would love to see yours and I will talk to you later. Assalamu alaikum.